Hey guys, welcome back. Today me and Holly are out at the uh, bushcraft shelter build, but we're not building nothing today. So we just decided to come out here just to see if it's still here. <laughs> so it is still here, obviously, you guys can see. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, ta-da. But uh, we've been toying around a little bit with, uh, with a couple different designs. So we're going to just talk back and forth later on or throughout the day and whatnot of what we want to do but for sure we're taking down the front wall it's only maybe like six or seven logs high it's not very big it's all small rounds so we can utilize that cut that up for firewood for the fire pit for supper so but anyways um i have a kind of a different shelter today something i've used on the channel before but i use the wolf den tarp so today I have a different turf. It's the Wolf Den 2.0 Rhombus. So that does have a stove jack built into it. I did bring the stove with me, or sorry, a stove. But uh, it's forecast to be, was it 13 degrees overnight? Something like that, yeah. So I don't think we're going to be needing it. But if we decide to use it, we do have it. We're up in the air about that one too. So, but anyways, we're going to get stuff situated around, get the shelter set up, and then we'll get on to something else and we'll bring you back.
Okay, we got the shelter set up. Uh, it took a few extra minutes, longer than what I had planned on. Um, I had it tied to the tree, almost. I remembered I wasn't doing it properly, so I had to take it all down, drop it, rearrange the rope and all that jazz. Um, my uh, corner peg out, I had to bring back toward us a little bit. Um, just because there was like a stump right there and everything else like that. I didn't really want to put our sleep pads and everything in the ground sheet on top of that and just puncturing a hole through any of it. So I moved it back this way a little bit and situated it a little bit better. It seems to be working out pretty good so far. So, for our sleep setups, what do you have? Um, she I don't even know. <laughs> Not a clue. She don't even know. <laughs> it's a sleep pad, I know that. <laughs> okay, but what sleep pad is it? I have not a clue. <laughs> okay, she's using my new Gear Doctors insulated sleep pad. Uh, I will have a review on that. Um, I've had it for, I think, a week and a half now. And so I'm just about done with my testing it out. I've used it two or three times. Holly's going to use it tonight. See what her, you know feedback is on it. I'm kind of curious and interested to see what she has to say. You'll know in the morning. <laughs> I think she'll be all right. Uh, she's also using my one wind top quilt. So let's say it's only supposed to go down to, was it 13 or something like that tonight? So she ain't going to freeze. Not by any means. No. Neither am I. Because I'm using my Unigear sleep pad. I should actually do a, a, a review on that one too. Just to, you know, and then do a whole comparison video of all the sleep pads that I have. But that's for another topic. Um, so that's half of my sleep setup. For my other half, I have a North Face Blue Kazoo. Which some of you viewers from Lone Wolf 902 may recognize that from older videos. So he was graciously enough and donated it to me as I was in the market for a damn sleeping bag. He had, you know, an extra spare one or two kicking around. So I asked him. We kind of, you know, what's that word I'm looking for? Um, well, he, he actually contemplated. But, I mean, so we, you know, kind of worked something out. If I decide I don't want it or get something new, it goes back to him. But... Let's say it's, it's going to be plus 13 tonight, so you won't have to worry about, I won't worry about that, but I'll know further on down the road as the weather gets colder. So now we have to get our firewood ready, which it's all right here in front of us from the last time we were here, which was, what, two or three months ago? Yeah, something like that. So, and as you've seen... Previously, we took down the front wall of the shelter build, which is all small logs. So we're going to utilize some of that for firewood for here. Um, we discussed it amongst ourselves. We're not going to need the stove. So I'll just keep that wood here for, you know, future episodes or future day trips or whatever, whatever the, the case, case is. Be. Yeah. Um, we we'll use it either for in the stove or we use it in the fire pit. There's not a lot there, but we'll decide that when the time comes. But for right now, I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry. Oh, yes. So, as I said, we got a firewood right here in front of us. There's a little bit of birch bark. Um, I did notice there's a birch tree back behind the camera a little bit. I'm going to go harvest some of the birch bark off of that. And while I'm doing that, Holly's going to get some of the supper stuff ready. Because we have rice and yellow pepper uh a few, mushrooms. A few mushrooms and a couple uh, i have a sub we went to the grocery store before we came and uh, something quick and easy she got a was it a chicken wrap or something chicken caesar wrap chicken caesar wrap and i got a turkey sub so we're gonna quick and simple right rice only takes what a few minutes yeah. she might do that all just on the canister stove i don't know but we are definitely going to get a fire going because there's mosquitoes toward the middle of September. Actually, it's the first almost, day of fall. 
almost the end of September. Yeah, almost the 21st. Today's the 21st. No, no today is 22nd. 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 My mistake. Yeah. Well, I thought, right? Anyways, <laughs> so, mosquitoes kicking around, helicopter flying above. We're going to get some supper, uh, not really supper, but firewood ready, fire lay, get some supper dishes ready, and we're off. Alright guys, um, so what I'm going to do here, we all know what I'm going to do here. <laughs> I'm going to just get everything situated around. Holly volunteered to start to attempt to try and start the fire again We're using a fire steel. So, that birch bark's a little damp from the last time we were here, so toss it off to the side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to gather up, or not gather, but rip up some birch bark. I'm going to find a nice piece and uh, make some birch bark scrapings and stuff for her to make it try a little bit easier for her. So, I think I did that the last time too, wasn't it? It's a learning process. Yeah, but I, uh, <laughs> yeah. I made some shavings and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you okay. did. Still didn't work. Yeah, still didn't work. So, <laughs> going to rip some of this here up. Get it right here. There's a nice piece right here I can try. So I'll set that right there, make some scrapings like I said. And then, uh, so hopefully, she'll be able to get it going this time. Because if not, we're going to be going hungry all night. Besides the sub. So, yeah. Well, if that's the case, I better get it going then, hadn't I? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, the rest is going to make a, dip, make a big difference. So. But yeah, this is what we're gonna. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make some scrape, some shavings and stuff for. Her. So hopefully, she'll be able to get it going. Guys, I'm just gonna get Holly's fire lay ready. Some more. He man. That. Get some twigs and move our scrapings. Some twigs to go in here. Get some smaller stuff on top of that. Try to push everything up under here like so. And put a few bigger stuff on top. And hopefully that'll be enough to get her going anyway. 
At least that's what she's hoping for. Okay, now I'll get everything situated and I'll hand my knife off to her. All right, guys. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Remember I showed you. Now when you get when it started, just kind of bring it over and stick it under here. Yeah. Okay. Or you can use another piece and use like a match if you want to. Like that one or whatever. Piece under here. Use it for a match and kind of over here or something. I'll okay. figure it out. Yep. Yeah. All right. Here she goes, guys. First try, woohoo! <laughs> Let's just see if it stays going. Probably not. <laughs> there we go. We have fire. There we have it. We have fire with her the third attempt in a fire seal. Third or fourth attempt. Uh, yeah, something like that. But first try. And today. she got a first try this time. I'm so proud of myself. She practiced for about 30 seconds before she did it. <laughs> Seriously, she did. I just show her she got the thumb in the right in the right spot. She had everything right. She had the right angle. Let's see on the next trip if she can do it again. First try. Whew. More birch bark caught fire. Alright, we're gonna get this thing burning. We're gonna load her up, let some coals burn down, and hopefully we can get the rice cooked for supper. All right, guys. So we're doing supper and everything. Um, I'd say we do have some Uncle Ben's fast and fancy rice. It's uh, broccoli and cheddar kind. So we was gonna do two packages, but we decided just to do one for now. We got uh, I would say earlier I had a sub. I always got a chicken Caesar wrap. Uh, we got some yellow pepper to do whatever. And in this bag we have. I think it's a half a dozen mushrooms. Yeah, something like that. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and cut the mushrooms up and the green pepper. And Yellow. I think Holly's gonna do coffee on, on my canister stove, which is right here, here's half of it. My other half is it's all cracking now. Like I said, she wants a coffee, so we're gonna do a coffee on the. I did grab the right one. Good. <laughs> so I had about four or five of these at home. I had to shake each one to make sure I had the. I was grabbing the right one. So we said she's gonna boil some water up for coffee. And, and get my, supper going uh, at the same time. Do what? And get supper going at the same time. And get supper going at the same time. So we say she's boiling water in my. A new titanium kettle from Pomali. So, which is pretty awesome. Um, so, but yeah. So we're going to do that. And hopefully, nobody gets burned. Hey, bonus, my fire stayed going. First try this time. Last time it took you, what, six and you gave up? Yep. So... But yeah, so we're just getting everything situated and ready to, to, what, to what we're going to do. I'm going to drink Gatorade. So, we, uh, the coffee. Oops. See, we're not using the stove, but I did bring it. The spark arrestor. <coughs> Here's my chimney. It's only been burned once, so I want to get burned in again so but uh yeah and it won't be tonight so which is perfectly fine with me I brought it just in case so just in case we're not going to need it tonight <laughs> we decided not to use it not even, not going to bother so uh we're going to get everything situated and then uh we're going to have some coffee and hopefully have some supper at the same time
guys, uh, supper's ready. I was trying to decide if I should put the suitcase. You got a fork over there. I think I had a fork. Okay, well. Alright. She doesn't need a fork, she's already got one. And I got a spoon. So. Yeah, I don't need a fork for each hand. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, supper's ready. I said we have uh, Uncle Ben's. What was, it, was it fast and fancy rice or something like that? The broccoli and cheddar. Yeah. So you seen I cut some mushrooms, cut up some yellow pepper. Um, I do have well, I had to. Uh, I I cut one up. Uh, the other one I might save it and have it like a snack later on. I don't know. Uh, it's just you know like the like. 80% water or something like that. So, but good snacks. even still, very good, healthy snack. We got granola bars for snack. Uh, mm -hmm. Somebody wanted potato chips. <laughs> Exposed campfire potato chips. Why not, right? We're out. She's got a couple days off. We're enjoying it. Well, at least trying to, anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so, I got coffee. I got my. I got my turkey sub. We have, oh, I'll leave that one. Maybe I won't save that for the squirrel that's running around here. So we do have yellow pepper strips. I cut up, I diced up a couple, what, about five or six pieces. And uh, we put them in, she put them in, in, in the rice just before it was done. So we're going to dig in, enjoy supper, and, oh yes, <laughs> I forgot. I got coffee. And I got a Gatorade for whenever, but that's, that's water. There you go, Gatorade for later on. I got mine for later on. Yeah, she's got her beverage for later. Just cider. Yeah, it's adult cider. <laughs> so, hey, you can pop me. So, like I said, we're gonna Sit back, enjoy your supper by the campfire. Wrap. And uh, bring you guys back after we're done. Got yeah, peppers and mushrooms to this more often. Tastes really good. Mm. <laughs> All right, uh, supper was, it's gone. <laughs> it was very good. The rice was cooked pretty much right dead on. The mushrooms and yellow peppers? I just 
popped it off. It was yeah, good. I think we're gonna start adding mushrooms and peppers to our Uncle Ben's rice, or actually any rice as far as that goes. Yeah. It just made that much more flavor, a little more texture. Not so much more, a little color, bit more filling. Huh? A little bit more filling too. Yeah. Not to mention our sub and well, whatever season wrap you didn't eat because it was just <laughs> fell apart. Yeah, I wasn't so very was, happy yeah. with that. <laughs> No, it wasn't very good, but needless to say, it was a good supper overall. Like I said, the uh, the peppers and the mushrooms, it didn't add so much color, not that we could see it, because it's like quarter to eight right now, so, um, yeah, but it was really good, filling, and Holly's fire is still going. Woohoo! So, <laughs> she done good on this trip. Last time she tried, it took, uh, I think I said, it, six or seven tries and she gave up. I was getting flustered. So, <laughs> let's say she did practice for, you know, for a few seconds. I showed her how to do the, with the thumb. She went, she was up too high on, on the blade, or sorry, on the spine of the blade. Uh, she had to get more down toward the handle. I showed her that part. The thumb. I need a more oomph. Yeah, <laughs> she needed more horsepower in that thumb of hers. <laughs> But, uh, nope, overall, everything was good. Uh, I'll say I'm still drinking my coffee, which is in here by my feet. Just try not to kick it over. Um, we say we still got uh, leaves in our yellow pepper strips. So, it just gives it extra taste. Yeah, extra fiber. But, and stick. More crunch. <laughs> but, nope, we're... Uh, we're going to sit here by the fire for a little bit. We're still indecisive of what we're going to do. Um, well, not really indecisive. We're going to sit here by the fire for a little while. I'm undecided whether I want my cider or not. Yeah, her, her, her beverage. So, um, bonus is we didn't have to cut any, any firewood. Nope. We have enough left here from the last time we were here. For tonight so that's a big bonus that was a real time saver so and the bonus is we still got more till the next time we come back or yeah we got more for the next time whether I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring my hot tent down here next time or not because the one I have now the Pamali Hassar that's only one person plus the stove or two people without the stove uh, my next biggest one after that is my Hussar Plus, and that's just huge. I need a bigger area for uh, for that one. So, <clears throat> um, I will have a review on the Hussar Plus. As I said, I'll have a review on my seat pads and everything. Um, I was testing out the Gear Doctor sleep pad last what we can have two weeks um just here and there when i can when i got a chance to get out which was rare to none but i'll explain that in the morning where i've been the last little while so but uh no i tested the uh Hussar plus off and on set it up take it down that's a real pain in the butt to set up so, but overall, it's a really good tent. So, um, other than that, like I said, excuse me, like I said, we're going to sit here by the fire, kick back, relax, and... It's a much needed iron R. Yeah, and this will be the last little bit before I, you know, I'm filming before we go to bed, because it's, you know, let's say it's, what, probably about 10 to 8 now. So, yeah, we're, uh... You're right. We're going to keep loading the fire up and then probably another couple hours probably hit to bed. So, so until then, catch you guys in a little bit. <clears throat> All right.
Alright guys, we've been sitting here by the fire for, what, last hour and a half, two hours? Yeah, something like that. Kind of relaxing. We still got our supper stuff right here, but everything that we used is right here. So I got a couple things here behind the log, like my food bag with snacks and stuff in it. I got uh, a little stuff, sacks of all the stuff right here. Um, to be able to clean up, it only take like five minutes to do right now. But uh, we've been sipping coffee. Um, I've had two coffees. Well, I finished my first one. I had another one after that. Holly's just finished her I first should, one. Yeah. It got cold, so she dumped it out. Um, so, so we're almost at a firewood right here beside the fire pit. But I mean, there's still a couple more just just behind the fire pit. A couple long pieces. We might toss one of them on. I don't know yet. But, uh, today we've just been sitting here relaxing, so... It's been nice. Yeah, it's, uh, just about time for bed. We were both up a little early this morning. <clears throat> uh, we had a long day, this and that, you know, do running errands and... All the he, fun stuff. Yeah, here and, you know, adulting. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that time when we were kids? And Gone. Had, Really, like, no worries. Didn't have to worry about bills. Didn't have to worry about going to work. Didn't have to, you know, make money. Oh, to be a kid again. Yeah, we had money handed to us, but we had to earn it. So it was almost kind of like work, but chores, right? Allowance. Yep. Just gone. Blink of an eye. Just like that. Bag of chips and bottle of pop. <laughs> Bag of chips and bottle of pop was like two bucks. If that. Man, I remember a bowl of pop being like 75 cents. Bag of chips. 75 cents. Yeah, so a buck 50, you had a bowl of pop and bag of chips, there's a snack for tonight. Going, right? And still change left over. Yeah, for. Penny what? candy. Penny candy. <laughs> now it's a nickel, nickel candy, I think. I don't even think you can get that anymore. No, I don't think so either. Correct but... me if I'm wrong. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to hear your guys' uh, memories of being a kid. I think that'd be pretty cool. Penny candies, cheap pop, cheap chips, just endless possibilities, right? Uh, what as a take out as a treat on a Friday night? Yeah, right. Like uh, KFC for a special dinner, right? Or going to. Uh, McDonald's pizza. You know what's order the McDonald's pizza? McDonald's McDLTs. What? Exactly. <laughs> what it is, a McDLT, it was it was a hamburger. Um, obviously. It was uh uh it was a little bit bigger than a Big Mac. Okay. But it came in a styrofoam tray. Okay. So the styrofoam, it actually came in two. Because it came, like, the ones that used to fold over. Yeah. Well, it wasn't fold over. It was just flat like this. Okay. And you had another one on top of that. Okay. So you had to take the top one off. You take your burger and flip and put it together yourself. All right. How many of you remember that? McDonald's, McDLT. I still say McDonald's pizza. No, the pizza wasn't bad. But who remembers going to McDonald's or A&W or something like that and having a birthday party and have Ronald McDonald or the A&W bear come out? I do. I remember that. I had a couple. I'm not going to lie. A&W bear. No, I never had that. Oh, I did. A couple times. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I always yeah. used to get butter on my nose. On my <clears> birthday. <laughs> You're lucky you got on the nose. My dad put butter on my face. Ooh. He'd have a handful of butter. He'd wake me up. Happy birthday. Done all over my face. I couldn't really curse him out because I was still a kid. But under my breath, yeah. You were, <laughs> under your breath, you were saying thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I was saying thank you very much and not so nice words. But, uh, but yeah. So, like I said, we're gonna sit here for 
Well, a few more minutes. Put my stick in the fire. Ow. Shut up. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna say we gotta poke the stick. But uh, no, we're gonna sit here by the fire. Probably let it burn out a little bit more. <clears throat> and uh, probably head her off to bed. So, I had a couple of movies on my phone. I can't remember what I have on it. So, but anyways, um, yeah, sit here, let the fire burn out, and uh, see you guys in the morning, most likely for coffee. Night. Morning, everyone. <laughs> Morning. <coughs> a little bit of a cool morning. Sun's bright, I'll tell you that. Nice outside. It, yeah, it, it is rather nice. A little on the cool side, but after climbing out of a sleeping bag, you kind of want to <laughs> put a hoodie on, right? <laughs> So. Some people don't take theirs off all night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Overall, no, we were uh, we we're pretty warm. I say she used my uh, one wind top quilt. She fought with it all night. <laughs> so, but uh, I Just say I, I had the little face blue kazoo. It was it was warm. I had to peel it off a little bit. The mosquitoes kept bothering me, so I zipped back up. I get too warm, I zip it back out. So I just said, screw it. I'll leave it. And I'll deal with it. So. Sleeping pad was comfy, though. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, she used my uh, Gear Doctor's uh, Apollo Air Sleep Pad. So she was warm. Yeah, I was warm. Comfy ish. I, I used my. Uh, my Unigear sleep pad, uh, the Campy P3 or something like that. It's a bunch of numbers and letters. <laughs> but uh, that was that was comfortable. I haven't used that for a little bit, so. Um, it was a quiet night last night. Yes, very quiet. Fire was nice. Fire was completely burned out. Well, all was left for me went to bed was cold, so. Uh, there was nothing left in the morning. Just a big pile of ash. Not even any heat left. No, not even no heat. Couldn't even warm up my toes. <sighs> no. So, uh... Let me get, you know... <clears throat> give me, get some more coffee into me and I'll, uh... I'll tell you guys where I've been the last little bit. <coughs> All right, we're still sipping on our coffee. Mine's almost gone. Mine's all half. So, so where have I been the last little while? Well, I've been working. <laughs> so, you know. 
odd jobs here and there, whatnot. So I've been uh, testing some gear off camera, obviously. Uh, I want to make sure it's going to be good enough and everything for me to use or for Holly to use or any of my kids. Uh, the one being the sleep pad. So I've used it a few times. I like it. She used it last night. It's comfy. She likes it. Um, my uh, Wolf Den Rhombus. First time using that. First time setting it up too. But I have used it over on Lone Wolf's channel. He's over there. Pesky squirrels. <laughs> I'm telling you. Try to get him on film. He wasn't having it. Or she. Or whatever it wants to be. <laughs> so. But uh, no, that rhombus. I say that's the first time I've used it. Well, actually, it's the second time that uh, I've used it. <coughs> um, I use it over, like I said, over. Use it over on uh, Momo's channel when him and I did the double rhombus uh, shelter overnighter with the wood stove and everything. Oh yes, I've even been testing a uh, new wood stove that I have. So that's what that's working great. So yeah, a little bit of this and that and everything else. So uh, last week I went out with Lone Wolf uh, for two nights testing some gear. So I've been I've been around. I just haven't been been filming. I say plus I've been working. So plus. Holly's mom's in the hospital, so she's been going back and forth to the city, so I've, I've just been staying home within calling service and everything like that, just in case. But uh, she's doing a lot better, which doing, is great. Doing really good. Got some good news yesterday, so. so. Yeah. So that's what's been happening with me the last little while, so. Everything's pretty much back on track. I gotta start getting some more footage and more videos and whatnot, so. So hopefully everything will, will be back back on schedule and back to my regular uploads. Once, back to your regular schedule program. Yeah, but once <laughs> or twice a week. I'm gonna try for, for two night or sorry, for two videos a week, so I gotta get myself back in the routine again and everything, so but as for right now we're just gonna sit back and I'm gonna have another coffee here as soon as this one's gone, and then uh, probably slowly start packing up and head for home. Head for home. We got about a half hour hike out of here. Well, from here to home anyway. So, well, we get another coffee. We'll bring you back. Somebody drink my coffee. Dang squillows.
All right, guys, we uh, our company all night and all this morning. <laughs> so we're all packed up, as you can tell. We're all ready to go. We just did one final sweep around to make sure we didn't forget nothing and picked up all of our garbage and whatnot, taking it home. Uh, for the last, I don't know, better part of an hour, somebody's been trying to get video of a squirrel. <laughs> Not pointing no, not pointing no names and mentioning no fingers. Uh, yeah, she managed to get a couple videos of squirrel and a couple photos and whatnot, so you'll be seeing that in the video as well. He was getting pretty close. Yeah, probably within what about a foot. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I've been trying to get that son of a gun all all yesterday. No, nope, every time I had the camera in my hand, he was gone. I said, camber down, go ten feet away. Right behind me, you behind need, that tree. You need patience. Oh, I'm not a doctor. I'm not either, but I got some. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, say oh. we uh, we had you know a nice night here. Uh, it was peaceful. Very. It was nice. You didn't hear any ATVs running by at nine o'clock at night, which was good. Nobody hollering. Nobody hollering, hooting, hollering. Kids, you know, whatever. Just. Thing is gonna fall here soon, but uh, I say we will be back here. Yeah. Eventually. Uh, we do have a pile of uh, well, what was the front wall right here. So what we're gonna do is probably do a couple uh, bipods and have a ridge pole going across and do like a lean-to style. I know it's the most commonly done, but it's what I can use, what I can do with what's readily available, and there's just not that many big logs like like these, just laying around anywhere. So uh, it's a lot of smaller stuff, a lot of deadfall, a lot, a lot of wind blown. Uh, there is that tree that I cut down in, uh, I think it was episode four of the bushcraft shelter build. Yes. So that tree is still where we left it, was in between trees. So I'm going to have to bring my chainsaw down here and uh, junk it up into usable lengths. So, but with all that being said, enough rambling on, we're going to strap our backpacks on, pack away the camera gear, and get home. we got a half hour hike out of here, so, so until the next one guys, catch you later. Later.